Hey guys, pardon me, a little out of breath here. Um, tonight I'm putting in some two by fours, uh, basically as a vertical uh, brace. I ran my center spline, which is a two by six by two two by six by tens. Um, turns out they were short, so I had to sister them together. I mentioned that previously. If you're doing this, definitely get one 12 footer and one 10 footer or two 12s, make it easy, whatever. Um, but so I mirrored that on the floor with this here running across my uh, two by fours that are running width wise. I ran three of those, one uh, in, towards the front of the door, one just in front of the first axle, and then another one um, back behind the factory uh, water heater location. So three in total, and then I've, so I've ran this center spline up top that is hooked into my chain hoist, and then the bottom piece here is screwed down to the width uh, running two by fours, if that makes any sense. I can't think of a better way to say it right now. Um, and then I'm coming up vertically and gonna tie the two splines together, top and bottom, on a time together with two two by fours, one on each side. Then when I raise it up, get it off of the frame, I'll pull the frame out, lower this thing down, and then what I'll do is I'll screw in feet uh, which I've got like, you know, I cut these two by four, 74 and a half inches. Uh, so they were 96, eight footers from, from uh, the store. So I've got just over, you know, 20, what's that? Just over 20 inches uh, feet that I'll put on uh, and I'll run two on each spline. So that'll be six feet total. Uh, that should, in theory, my hope is kind of stabilize this thing. I'll, and I'll check it before I take it off of the, uh, chain hoist as far as is it going to rock forward or is it going to rock backwards because I obviously don't want it, the thing to fall forward on its nose or on the back end and do some damage so worst case scenario I won't use the feet and just drop it straight on the ground on the grass I have no problem with that but I just thought for stability purposes and to keep it up off the ground for airflow and things like that probably a good idea to keep it a little elevated so uh, that's what I'm working on tonight I appreciate y'all watching uh, hopefully I'll get this thing uh, up in the air uh, tonight before the sun goes down so stick around All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a whirl here uh, and see how it goes. I've got everything, I think, uh, loose as far as every, all, all rivets drilled out. Um, so I'm pretty confident that that we're gonna be good. Um, I don't know, maybe not actually as I'm seeing this. Looks like I might have missed two in that front plate up there. I'll see, I'll see if it lifts up or not. Because they're not visible from the outside, so that may just be a rivet that was which is kind of weird let me look at that first yeah i think i'm good so i'm gonna give a whirl and see what happens um uh, wish me luck hopefully this thing comes off of here and i can pull the frame out tonight that'd be a really good uh feeling of progress so uh yeah here we go All right, trouble in turn two. So let me get out of this thing here. What I discovered in trying to raise it, um, you know, I expected, fully expected there to be some creaks and pops and things like that. But my gantries, that top, top two runners, uh, 
you know, there's really no support in the middle of them to kind of keep them that same distance and make them, you know, keep them that distance apart, you know, in between the verticals. So this is, there, it's a 10 foot board up there, two of them. When I started to uh, put some tension on the chain hoist, those boards started to close in, as you can imagine. Um, and I was afraid it was going to pop my bolts out. Matter of fact, a couple of them up there look like they may, may, uh, may have came a little bit loose. So that certainly concerns me. If obviously if that thing, you know, squeezes the two boards together all the way and it puts enough tension on the outside that it pulls those lag bolts out, then the whole thing comes down on top of the camper. And that's a bad, bad situation. So, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to cut at least four boards just two by sixes um, you know six foot wide or six foot six inches wide and yeah maybe just like a six by six block really now I'm thinking about it cut four of those and screw them into the gantries it's kind of a bummer because I've already got the things up in the air and I've got the camper underneath it and all that, but I, I can get up on a ladder and should be able to work it from a ladder on top of the roo uh, roof of the camper. So certainly not gonna get up in the air tonight, no doubt about it. I'm just not willing to take that risk. I wanna at least stabilize it and make it more rigid and then see how it responds. So um, we live to fight another day. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. Straighten out my headband here. So last night, uh, I tried to lift this thing up off the frame and I noticed my gantry cranes, the two uh, horizontal runners up top, uh, they were kind of compressing in because I didn't have stabilizers in between, um, basically in the middle of the run, <clears throat> if that makes any sense, in, in the middle of the run between the two vertical risers. It was just two boards running uh, horizontally screwed to the outside of the vertical uh, posts. So what that did is once I put pressure or tension on the uh, chain hoist, those two boards, if you're looking at it from the top, just started compressing in like this. And my fear was on the outside, they were gonna end up popping my lag bolts out of the end of the post and then the thing falls down on the top of the camper and I'm in real big trouble. Um, at that point, hell, he probably just throw this thing in the dumpster. So I stopped, I put in some two by four bracing uh, last night and then it got dark on me and I'm back today to hopefully get this thing up in the air, finally. So I think that I'm good as far as, um, you know, unscrewed everywhere and unbolted and all that. I mean, there's a couple bolts here and there, um, but they're just secured to the subfloor, not to any um, outrig or anything like that. So. We're going to give it another whirl and see what happens. So, appreciate you tuning in and stick around. All right, a little bit of a delay. I forgot about the three screws that hold the door frame down to the subfloor. Two of them um, were fairly easy to get out, but unfortunately the one in the middle looks like it was converted to a bolt, or maybe that's the way it was from the factory. But it ran all the way through the belly pan right there, which I guess I shouldn't call it a belly pan. There's a piece of an alum aluminum that's installed underneath the subfloor right above the step. And I don't know if that's factory or, or what, but anyway, that middle bolt ran down through that uh, piece of aluminum and then had a nut on the back, 7 16 So I couldn't get the nut off and I'd strip the head of the screw out or the bolt out trying to get it out. So trusty saws all took care of it. Anyway, Walked back around the unit. That's all that I'm seeing that could potentially keep this thing down. Um, I think. I say that and then it seems like I find something else. Right here, I just found another screw. So let me see what's going on with that.
making some progress in the rear. It's up about an inch, but I found some uh, old pieces of subfloor I need to cut out. having issues getting the frame and the shelf separated um, I'm really actually not quite sure what the hell's going on but the back came off real easy except for around the wheel wells that C channel that squares off around the wheel well at the bottom um, it was connected to the side of the shell which I thought that they were separated um, so I got that free on the curb side but not the street side so I'm working on the street side now and I think once I get that free, then I'm good at everything except for up here in the front. Somewhere it's still still holding on pretty snug. I'm not sure sure what it is. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Hopefully get this thing free here in the next 20 minutes or so. So wish me luck. <laughs> Alright. I think I got that pretty well free over there. Let's see. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. Yeah, she's flying. Let's see what we got. 